So running for the bus, we've just made it, the 41. We're heading into Manama to the old souk. Yeah, it's 300 each per person. If you've got the go card, it would be 275, or it's even like a go daily. Shukran. Oh, lovely, so a few people on. From what we can gather, the public transport system here has been set up for the years, hasn't it? Yeah, it's way better than it is in Saudi Arabia, that's for sure. Uh, and similar to the UAE and Qatar. Decent bus network, uh, good value for money, good way to get around. So this is our friend, Prash. Hello. <laughs> so yeah. there is um, a system of bus pass. You can buy a bus card, yeah. which costs about half a dinar. And it looks something like this. Oh, how wonderful. And it's quite easy. So now whenever you travel with that, um, all you need to do is top up if you don't have enough cash. And it costs about 275 bills per journey. Or if you want a day pass or a day ticket, you can also pay 700 uh, bills. And then you can use it as many times as you like. However, the only catch is you, can, you can't buy this on the bus. You have to get to only specific locations to buy this. And one of them is the Manama Central Bus Station, where we'll get off to. Okay. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you so much, Fresh. No it's like. Yeah. Excellent information. It's brilliant. So it's slightly cheaper if you use that card. Uh, if you're here for more than a couple of days, you want to travel around, it's well worth it. We're heading now to the Bab al Bahrain. Because apparently that's where the souk is, I think. Indeed. And mm. Bab in Arabic means the gate or the door. Yeah. Um, so I'm guessing that's probably what the main door into the city was. Pleasant, easy, comfortable bus trip. This is the, uh, the main bus station in Manama, not far from the souk, I believe. And all the buses radiate from here all around the island. Heading to the souk area right now. And it's so cool because Prash has been here before, so. We've got a guide. <laughs> oh, <stop. laughs> Thank you. And the better thing is, that is actually what Prash does back in the UK. Yeah. He is a tour guide, tour director. Perfect. We've got a professional on the case. <laughs> Mosque is so lovely. The way it fits. So well between the two modern buildings. And just down the alleyway from that mosque is Haji's Cafe, established in 1950 and it has a reputation of being a very popular local place to go. Wow, beans with eggs, one dinar, spicy beans with eggs, only in 1.1. So we've got sweet noodles and eggs. Ah, apparently this is a famous Bahraini dish, sweet noodles and eggs, balalit. And oh, I do love fava. Uh, fava beans, full. Tea is 150, 150 to 300, 500 for drinks. And here's the lunch menu. Oh, of Match course. Food, 150. Yep, that's a, such a traditional dish in this region for Bahrain. Chicken biryani, 150, that's pretty good. It's excellent. I think that's why our couch surfing host actually said to me, like, every yeah. couch surfer who comes here, yeah, He's raised so about the biggest it. Biggest challenge yeah. is getting the table. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, man. <laughs> that's so cool. What is it? Polaris? I think it's. Is it three wheels? Yeah. Hello. Welcome to Bahrain. <laughs> wow. Polaris. So here we are at the Bab al Bahrain, the gate, uh, Bahrain gate, which looks very modern. I don't know if it's been changed over the years or not. Yes, it's not quite what I was expecting. I yeah. thought it was going to be like an old fashioned, you know. <laughs> Fort uh, entrance with a Babakan or something like that. Yes. So it says through there, 1949. This is so lovely. Beneath the gate, all the old photos. 1960s, guessing that was the 50s. Oh, this is such an amazing thing when you travel through the Middle East. I'm just going to try some. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to smell lovely all day now. <laughs> Thank you. You put it on your clothes, like yeah, they clothes, tend to put it yeah. under their dish dashes. So it's like a perfume. Yeah. It's to like scent the clothes, etc. And we have Subhab Al Bahrain, the mall. Oh my word, it's aircon. Oh, and of course, it smells amazing. 
there's all your different types of wood, different prices compared to like the different qualities, etc. Wow, like that one, 15 Bahraini dinar. I've got to say, this is not quite what I expected. It does look beautiful. Furniture is just absolutely amazing. I love the colours and the designs. Lovely out products. Beautiful. Fresh is too nice. He keeps getting like roped in to, to try things okay. and look at things and... <laughs> this is not Bahraini, is it? It's all Bahraini. All, all this is it. Very pretty. It's a common one around these parts. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word, it's incredible. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> But while yeah, they've got the nice. black lemon and they've got the lumi, the dried mm. lemon. No, 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 no. And there's your cinnamon as well. No, it's fantastic. Oh, okay, yes, no, but have you tried lumi? It's lumi? the most delicious drink with no. dried lemon and water. Uh, black lemon. They use it for yeah. cooking. Dr dried lemon. But this is dried as well. Yes. Why that one is I'm not too sure like how they go different right. colours. Mm. Yeah, so hopefully someone can let us know what causes the lemon. Mm -hmm to go black. So this street here seems to have the, the gold and silver jewellery. Oh, hello, salam. Apparently the um, Indian temple is around here somewhere. Yes. Yeah. Well, from what my map says, it's somewhere in there. Ah. I don't know how to get there. <laughs> Our next mission is to just ask around the chain. Yes. Stunning jewellery. So we're coming down now to oh, here's your dress drawing. Excellent, thank you. So the 200 year old temple is closed unfortunately, but Prash is going to ask around. Yeah, it's always <laughs> interesting when like, you can't get access to something, it makes you want to get access even more, you know, <laughs> we've found it down this little dark alleyway. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Maybe we just came to like the wrong, the wrong entrance. Oh, here we are. And suddenly, suddenly we're back in India. Coconut for puja. Oh. Okay. okay it's a beautiful. How wonderful. They've come inside now and checked with Prash. And we can see from the outside. How wonderful. Oh my word, that's so much larger than I expected. Wow, so it's a mm. Sri Krishna temple. Yeah, Krishna temple, you are late. Yes, yes we, we heard. Closing time, uh, 10 uh, Open uh, at five? Evening, five? 5 o'clock. Uh -huh. This is just marvellous, it's 200 years old. Two, uh, 200 years. And 1045 is the main prayer time. Okay, three. Oh, they pray the around it? They pray around it um, and they also, in some special festivities, tie a special religious thread around it as yes. well. Either Brahma, Vishnu or Mahesh, either of those three deities okay. um, is believed to be as the streets to believe to be associated with wow. them. So, yeah. That is one thing I've noticed, like when we were in Dubai, the temple there, that had a tree. It was like one of the only trees we saw yeah. in Dubai. Obviously a very important part yeah. of the temple, the temple complex. Culture. And this statue here is one of the avatars of Lord Krishna or Vishnu. These are other avatars that you see. Mm. Um, but Krishna himself, Srinathji, Mahaprabhuji and Yamuna. I, I, I don't really know a lot about all of these and this one is apparently Giri Rajji which means the one who conquered the mountain. 
Yeah. Um, so there is a story in which Lord Krishna lifts a mountain because there's a heavy downpour and that sort of saves all the people of the village when they go under the mountain and they are saved from the rain. Wow, he's in very interesting street art. So here we are having lunch at Haji's Cafe. Yay! Now it turns out the vegetarian options aren't quite so good for lunch. Breakfast they're amazing, aren't they? There were loads of things, eggs and full and dal and lentils and stuff. For vegetarians for lunch, um, Kalash has gone for a mixed vegetable curry. curry. Yep. And like salad comes with it, which is cool, and bread. Lee and I went for the chicken biryani, which comes with the sauce, and fish curry. Fish curry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> which isn't something we'd normally go for, but... Veritable feast. Oh, oh wow. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Not too spicy, but yeah. The flavour's all there, on my tongue. I'm happy Wonderful. with that. We've got a plate for the yeah. bones. Now the biryani, the chicken's like buried underneath. Mm -hmm. Nice. nice. We, we really wanted the chicken much push, but they didn't have any, so maybe we'll come back another time, but definitely want to come back for breakfast. I would have loved to have had karak tea, but of course, because it's an Arab like traditional place, we've just gone for the milk tea. But I mean, at um, 150 fields, it's great value. Oh, it's so lovely, Lee's just given the kitty some of our leftover fish and chicken. There wasn't a lot though. Sorry, kitty. Hi. So, my review for Haji's Cafe 1950. Like, I think the breakfast looked amazing. It looked so cool, and I definitely want to come back for that. Lunch, yeah, it was okay. The curry, like, Lee really liked the fish curry. I thought it was all right. The biryani, it was okay. I've had a lot better. Um, it's not just because we got charged for the salad. Of course, that was a bit of a bummer, but anyway, so-so, so-so. But I definitely want to come back for the breakfast. Like even olives with feta cheese and the fool with spicy tomato. That sounds wonderful. Stunning, we were just talking to. Don't know to... what it is. We were just wandering through the part of the uh, souk. We've come across this incredible mosque, both on this side and this side. This looks Uzbek, doesn't yes. it? Or something like that, yeah. I was going to say, we were just yeah. talking to Prash about travelling in Uzbekistan and yeah. look at it. It's got um, tiles and, yeah, that's Imam um, Hassan Avenue. So we actually think this might be a Shia mosque. Yeah, we've noticed these flag shops right next to it. And some of the flags remind us of like some of the martyrs flags we saw in Iran. Yes. Oh, These places yes. are all closed at the moment. It's around about prayer time, so we're not too sure. Wow. I'm so pleased we've found Kadok. Kadok chai. Looks gold in that lovely big jug. Oh, okay. Shukran. Thank you. Thank you. I just love finding places like this, don't you Lee? You know, like Yeah, little local places. Cheap and cheerful, nice and tasty. Is it tasty? How is your karak? Ah, that's probably <laughs> karak chai, yeah. So that little spicy taste to it. Yeah, nice the one. cardamom and the cloves yeah. and mm. wonderful. So it's so lovely walking along Normal Alley. And I don't know if you can see in the distance, it's the World Trade Center. Bahrain's World Trade Center. Wow, this wonderful old building. Not too sure what it is. Lee asked a taxi driver who said it's an old building. It's like, wow, oh, really? Gosh. That big crack in the middle and something hanging down to hang something up. There's what for. I much prefer finding these things to like, I don't know, some of the Disneyland type done up. Uh, old heritage villages you find that aren't really old anymore, but like, you can see that this is uh, stood the test of time. It really is amazing, and amongst all of these modern buildings, there are still these old buildings with the wood at the top. It's so interesting, all the notices that are posted up here. This one here, 
two bed space only for night duty so obviously someone who works during the day and they're gonna let the room while they're at work I'm so pleased like Bush decided to take the bus to the museum but we said we really like just walking and you know what I mean and, and seeing what's around on all the city streets and I'm so pleased we did because Wonderful. Reminds me of the scene in The Life of Brian when he comes out on the balcony and it falls down and he ends up down at the speaker's corner below. Do you remember? No. Sorry, I can't remember. <laughs> I'll have to rewatch it. Who hasn't given us time to hide? <laughs> yes, you the dog. That's it. Suddenly we turn a corner and we're back into hustling, bustling, modern Bahrain. And here we have a Saudi chain. I think it might be Filipino. The sizzlings to Bahraini dinar. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, but if you look at the picture, there's four chips. <laughs> and, uh, five bits of whatever's unidentified, maybe chicken. <laughs> Or fish. Do the maths. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be brilliant. Oh, awesome. Oops. <laughs> Move out of the way, you dumb tourist. So if you've been watching our Middle East adventures, you'll know we've been to Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia. And this is like the last stage of our like Middle East adventures, like here in Bahrain. And we've only got like three more days here and we'll be flying off to I don't know like a destination unknown so like make sure you follow for that but to Lee how do you feel now this is your last couple of days left in the Middle East a bit cold actually <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit chilly um no it's been amazing loved it I totally loved it and I'm really enjoying Bahrain so far I mean I've only been here about 36 hours but uh, so far so good I'm hoping to see a little bit more of this tiny little island nation like if you don't know where Bahrain is it's hard to find it on the map you've got to zoom right in and you'll see it just to the left of Qatar and sort of uh, in between Saudi Arabia but uh, there's more to it than just Manama the capital city we believe there's a little bit more outside hopefully in the rest of the videos here we can explore some more here we are at the Bahrain National Museum the great thing is for once I think we're going in the front door we haven't come around the back way where we normally do so I wasn't going to come in to the museum but Lee's talked me into it so we've decided to use buy me a coffee money so Mark at Beardus 22 thank you so much for paying for our tickets to come into the Bahrain National Museum so this is our lovely ticket which I can use as a bookmark I think it's very pretty yeah it's got the Kalat al Bahrain fort on the front and we're going to go inside now and learn more about Bahrain history over one huge map of Bahrain. This is the uh, island project that they've built down in the south of the country. It's really interesting. Where we are in Manama is right at the other end. This is amazing. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. Yeah, walking up now into Manama, which is in the top corner of the country. Here's the Ritz Carlton, and here's one of the, the many. Islands made from reclaimed land. So we spent three and a half hours in the museum. <laughs> Which is about average for us, I think. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely fascinating. Well worth the one ten <laughs> to entrance fee, without a doubt. Yeah. It was brilliant. So here we have a sweet shop, sweet shop and falafel. But wow, look at the, the different sweets and like the barfi. More types of barfi. And even more sweets. It's so cool. I wish Flash was with us now because he'd be able to tell us what these all were. This is so special. We thought it was a divania, but it's not. It's the Shia version is going to be inside for tea. How wonderful. <laughs> so we've come to Karim's for dinner. 
We didn't have the roasted chicken. Lee's quite good. Yeah. Okay, too, the family seating upstairs. Yes. Lee's ordered the special biryani, one only. And I'm going for the chicken and gravy. Dinner has come quite quickly. We've got a uh, chicken biryani in there. We're just drawn to chicken and rice, aren't we, Mandy? Yes. <laughs> and this was a. It's chicken in a curry sauce. I asked Oops. if they had anything similar to that, and he yeah. said, yes, they could do it. Like it's not normally on the menu, but it's 1.2. 1.2. Really this good. Is one dinner. Yep. And it comes with some salad, raita, some sauce, and some nice warm chapatis. They're giving us the chapatis for free, which mm. is so kind. Oh, that's a very nice sauce. Oh, and we've asked for it spicy. <laughs> yeah, it's coming in, it's coming in. <laughs> Great. That was seriously exceptional and amazing value for money. I would come back to here in a flash. <laughs> so here's the ticket vending machine. Top up here. Okay, lots of different ways to top up. Oh, and you can actually buy a new card. That's pretty cool. I think we can get the X2 to see more. I'm really not too sure. It's all a bit confusing. It turns out there's a bit of confusion about where our, our bus actually leaves from. It doesn't quite leave from the place that the sign says, nor where we got off this morning. But the great thing is, like a lot of friendly locals have helped us, they've given us good advice. We're like in the right spot and should be going in 10 minutes.